I can fly to Rome for $16, dude. That's like getting a Starbucks coffee. Like, do I want this Frappuccino or do I want to see the Coliseum? Oh, it's Rome. Get ready, this is exactly how I do it. If you want to know, three, two, one. Everybody's always been like, Connor, how do you travel? How do you go around the world? How do you do it for cheap? I'm about to go to Paris. There was a flight a day ago with Wow Airlines for 400. Same place. $400 round trip to Paris. Go on Google Flights. This is all you guys gotta do. Google Flights. Okay. Google Flights. Click that. Where am I from? Los Angeles, California. Biggest airport in my area, so usually they're gonna have the cheapest flights. Then this is the cool feature about this. Is you can click the world map and see the cheapest flights in the world. Like So out of LA, I could fly round trip to Panama City, Panama for 400 bucks. Hong Kong, $539 round trip to Hong Kong. I was more interested in going to Europe because I've never been. So from there, we're gonna go to Paris. Type that in, Paris, France. We wanna go for like a week or two because we wanna see Paris. But if you click this map, it'll show you what the prices are. If you click this map, It'll show you. You can check out the best days to go. So this this is showing when I'm leaving. It's grayed in there. And then if I come back, the 19th, it'll be a thousand dollar round trip. If I come back the 20th, it'll be 519. And then you just find the, the cheapest price. Look at if I come back the first, it's 450. If I come back the fourth, it's 450. Well, we wanted to add a couple extra days for the same price. Click that. Look at that. And now I have a round trip to Paris. Non-stop Norwegian airline, airlines, overnight flight for 450. I'll be in Paris. And then, want me to show you something else? That's cool. One way trip, once I'm in Paris. And this is the cool thing about Europe, especially this time of year. Watch, we'll be in Paris. If our flight's 18, we'll be there the 19th, the 20th, whatever, we can fly wherever we want. But if I'm in Paris, the 20th, right? And I've seen enough of Paris, enough of Paris in a day or two. I can fly from Paris to Milan, Italy for $11. I can fly to Rome for $16, dude. I can go to London for $40 or Amsterdam for 33. I can go to Portugal for 22 bucks. Like that to me is insane. And you can do that anywhere in the world. If you wanna to go to Japan, if you wanna to go to China, if you wanna to go to the pyramids, look online and say, how can I get as close to where I wanna go for the cheapest price and then just take connecting flights because Liz and I are gonna fly for $450 into Paris and then we're gonna take a flight from Paris to Italy for how much? $11. $11. Dude, $11. So for less than $500, I'm gonna be in Italy eating a freaking pizza <laughs> while most people are gonna be sitting at home saying, I wish I could travel. And that's not a knock. I used to do that, but then I was finally like, I need to get outside, so I saved money and I traveled. So this video is dedicated to all you guys who wanna travel cheap, save your money, go on Google Flights, and then just take a risk. Bring some good friends. All right, another thing guys, just so you know, is if you book super cheap flights, they might try to charge you extra for baggage or extra for food. They added a meal right here, and I don't want that. I don't want a freaking nice and tasty menu. Do I want that? No, I wanna go to Milan for $14 and buy a pizza. I'd rather starve on the plane. No meal! For me, I'm not gonna pack anything other than one bag, and I don't need to eat on the plane. I'll pack a PB&J. You could save yourself 100 or $200 just by thinking ahead, so get over it. If you're hungry for like a couple hours, just watch a movie or something. One last thing I gotta tell you guys is the dream is coming true. I'm buying the round trip ticket to Paris, 400 bucks, on money that I made on YouTube. So I just wanna say thank you guys. I really appreciate it. I went to the bank, got the money, and I was like, the videos I made, produce this, and now I'm gonna use it to fly to Paris and produce more videos. So if I can just keep the good cycle going till the day I die, I'll be happy. Make money filming videos, pay the money that I made to eat food and film more videos, and then it's just like So thank you. I appreciate it. Do it while you're young, do it while you're single, do it while you don't have kids, because once those things start rolling, your options go a little smaller once you have to take care of other people, but while you're young and you have time, do it.